Say you want to run a faster 5K. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you five tips which have helped me and hopefully will help you to run a faster 5K. Now, these tips, and there will be two bonus tips at the end of this video, guys, so make sure you do watch all the way through to the end. But these tips are for all levels of runners. It doesn't matter if you are new to running, you've been running for some time, or you're an experienced runner. These are tips that I have used for many years and I've had great success with, and hopefully they will give you a roadmap to running your next five kilometer PV. Now, let's be honest, I'm almost 57, so the days of running a 5K PB are well and truly for me in the rear vision mirror. But that doesn't mean that I still don't set goals for each year. And these tips really do help in laying down a foundation for running a 5K PB. Tip number one is speed. Seems obvious, but this is often overlooked, especially by new runners and it just makes sense. If you wanna run a faster 5K, then you've gotta train the body to run at that pace or even a little bit quicker so that when you do get to your goal event and you are running your goal pace, you wanna feel comfortable in that er those early few kilometers because a 5K does get tough towards the end. So the more comfortable you can be running at your goal pace early on, the better chance you have of achieving your goal. Now there's a whole range of different types of speed sessions that you can do. You can do intervals, you can do tempo, you can do threshold, you can do fast finishes to run. Really, the choices are endless and at the end of the day, it's what's going to work best for you that you can fit into your regular running routine. Ideally, definitely once a week as part of a training block for speed sessions. Preferably, maybe two sessions a week where you are devoting to speed. So what these speed sessions are designed to do, they're designed to get your body prepared to run at those faster paces. Whatever speed session that you do decide to do, make sure that you are running at that goal pace or running a little bit quicker so that your body is getting used to just those extra stresses and forces that you're going to be placing on your body when you're attacking that five kilometer time. For me, my favorite go-to session for Running a faster five kilometers is a interval session. Now this is quite a long interval session where I do 800s, 400s and 200s. Now that's broken down into three 800s, four 400s and five 200s. Now there's a 200 meter jog between each interval and there's also a 400 meter jog between each set. As I said, it's a long session for me. It works out a little bit over 12 kilometers by the time you do the two kilometer warm up and two kilometer cool down and also stretching drills and strides. It's up here on screen, guys. This is really one of my favorite sessions. It's a tough session. Now pace for this session, guys. The 800s, I'm doing a little bit faster than five kilometer goal pace. The 400s, I'm doing a little bit faster again, so you're getting close to what you might run a three kilometer event or race in, and then those 200s. Now I do the 200s starting out at about three kilometer pace and then gradually increasing it towards the end. So by the time you're near the end of that 200 meters, you're going at a really good clip. And just by doing that at the end of those 200s, it's just instilling in the body to have that really sort of strong kick at the end. So it's a session that really does bring a lot of benefits. Tip number two, vary your pacing and vary your distances. What I mean by that is that some days you're going to go super, super easy. It might be a recovery run after a long run the day before or a speed session, or it might be before a long run or before a speed session, but you're gonna have those super easy days, you're gonna have easy days, you're gonna have steady days, and you're gonna have your speedier days. The body is getting used to all those different types of paces and not just slow pace and fast pace. You'll find your running will be much more enjoyable if you are varying the paces from run to run. Varying the distances as well. Look, some days just go out and run less than five kilometers. Other days go out and run more than five kilometers. Look, five kilometers has really become a long distance sprint now. Yes, you really do have to have that speed component, which was what we talked about in tip one, but you've also got to have that aerobic capacity as well. So don't neglect your aerobic running, and that's your longer running that you're going to be doing over that five kilometer distances. And when you're talking about long runs for running a faster five kilometers, 
I would probably be suggesting 12 to 15 kilometer runs. You know, it's just building that aerobic engine so that uh, you've got that little bit of endurance there because that will be super, super important towards the back end of the 5,000 meters. Tip number three, and I believe that this is the most important one, and that is consistency. Consistency brings rewards. Running is super, super simple. What you put in the running is what you'll get out of it. The more you can be consistent, the better your running is going to be. The more consistent you are following a training plan, the better your result is going to be on race day. I say this to every athlete that I coach, and that is consistency is the super, super, super most important ingredient in achieving your goal. The more consistent you are, the better your running will be, the stronger you will be, and on race day, the faster you're going to be. Number four is get stronger. Now I don't mean run more. What I mean is go to the gym, do some strength exercises at home, I've just started going to the gym. I've been going about two or three weeks and I can already feel that I'm stronger in the legs and I'm hoping that it's going to help my running in the future. Look, if you don't like going to the gym or doing home exercises, if it just doesn't fit into your routine, try adding some hills in after one of your easier runs. Find a hill that's not too steep. It's just got a nice gradual incline on it that you can do 20 to 30 seconds of a good solid effort up that hill. Um, start with just two or three, build up to six or eight over the course of several weeks. Recoveries can be a jog back down to the bottom of the hill or walk back down to the bottom of the hill, completely up to you. But come race day, you'll be thankful that you've done that little bit of strength work because when the going gets tough and you're starting to lose a little bit of form, that strength work is going to be something that you can really cash in on. Tip number five, guys, is don't be greedy. Don't set unrealistic time goals. Don't set unrealistic time frames. Look, if you're running 25 minutes now, don't set a goal of 17 or 18 minutes to run in two or three weeks time. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time to set your goal. And look, I always say that let's just underset the goal a little bit. And if you hit that goal and smash through that goal, it really does wonderful things up here. And it's gonna make you really keen and determined to push in that next training block for a little bit higher goal. Whereas if you are unrealistic with your time goals or your time frame, and you miss hitting those goals, that's just gonna play with your head something severe. So be realistic, don't be greedy. And look, I guess the message here is don't let your ego cloud your judgment when it comes to setting a time goal and setting a time frame. All right, guys, I did promise you two extra tips. And first one is strides. I believe strides are the most underused activity that we do as runners, but yet I believe they are one of the most important things we can do as runners. And where strides fit into your regular running routine is after easy runs or steady runs. And strides are basically running for 20 or 30 seconds at a pace that you build gradually throughout that time frame so that by the time you're getting to the awards the end you're hitting that sort of 5k goal pace or a little bit quicker start off with three or four build that up to six eight over a period of time and what this does as well is it just gets the legs clicking over a little bit quicker than what you would normally do on that steady or easy day uh, without putting too much stresses on the body so guys add in strides a couple of times a week or a couple of times every 10 days whatever it is that you'll regular running routine is and you will see some great benefits as well and also when it comes to doing speed sessions as well if you've been doing strides you're going to find that your speed will have improved after doing strides on a regular basis and the final tip is and i see this all the time where people rock up to their goal race or their goal event straight to the start line the gun goes off they take off at a rate of knots and they're already behind the eight ball don't ruin the training block by not preparing well for race day. It starts right from the time you get up, what you consume in hydration and food before your race, right through to that last sort of half hour before the race starts. Make sure you give yourself ample time for a good warm up, a bit of a jog, five or 10 minutes, just at a nice, easy pace, just to get the, the body moving, get the legs moving, 
do some stretching, do some drills, do some of those strides as well. And what this warm up routine does, it gets you ready for the start. So you're not hitting that start line and then shocking the body straight away from going from zero to 100. You have already gone from zero to 20 to 40 to 60 to 80 as part of your warm up routine. So when you're standing on that starting line, you're sitting at an 80. The person beside you is sitting on a zero. You're ready to go. When that gun goes off, the person beside you, their body is just gonna go, what are you doing? Your body's gonna go, okay, game on. That's it guys, that's my tips for running a faster 5K. Hopefully they'll help you to achieve your goal of running a faster 5K. If they do, let me know. And if you've got other tips you'd like to share with viewers here on the channel, make sure you hit me up down in the comments. Gonna be some more tips videos coming guys, 10 kilometers and half marathon. I have done a marathon tips video in the past. I'll put a link to that uh, up here, I think it is. So you can go and check that out as well if you are preparing for a marathon. That's it guys. Thanks very much for watching this video. Really do appreciate it and really do appreciate all your support that you've been giving me here on the channel. Until next time, wherever you are, run well, run safe.